Hurricane season has started and Florida is used to seeing its share of storms. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrator's hurricane hunters gather data by flying over, through, and around storms. But now they are using some new technology to access levels of the hurricane that are unsafe for pilots. Stacey DeSilva with our Tampa station looks at how it all works. We're talking drones. The hurricane hunters here at NOAA in Lakeland, Florida, have been testing them since last year. And a pilot here tells me they'll be put to the test for real in actual storms this season. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Becky Shaw pilots NOAA's P-3s, one of the few people on Earth who willingly fly into a hurricane. I flew the whole 2021 season, and I think it's about uh, seven hurricanes. But there are some areas even she won't go. Enter drones. With these uncrewed systems, we can now collect data in the parts of the storm that we don't want to be. NOAA has been testing three models of uncrewed aircrafts that drop out of the Hurricane Hunter planes and collect data in lower areas never before captured. A crew member will be flying the drone while on board the P-3. We're going to launch it in a tube form. It'll spread its wings in flight and it will fly at a low altitude while we're at um, our normal 8 to 10,000 foot altitude and we'll be collecting data from both aircraft. Unlike drop zones, which take a snapshot of the conditions as they fall to Earth, the drones can stay in the air for hours. To be able to fly at those altitudes in and out, it's going to be, it's going to change a lot of what we know about these storms. The crews have been testing the aircraft's abilities to safely drop from the plane, stay in range and collect accurate information. For the first time this year, they will be sent into actual storms. The single mission drones have one moment in the sun, or really, storm. We're responsible for making sure it's not going to hang out out there and go find a ship or go find another plane. So we make sure that the, um, the system uh, will land on the water. It'll ditch into the water once we get all the data off of it. One of the Hurricane Hunter planes is actually in the Midwest right now, but with Hurricane Agatha heading towards the Gulf and maybe even Florida, it could be returning early. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.